Hi. Approximately 20 years ago, I had my first hernia attack when I came to Japan. I was here for, I guess, about two years, and everything was too low for me, for my height. And I tended to slouch and bend over, and I got a bad posture. Well, then three discs in the lower part of my back went funny on me and I had a terrible hernia and I wasn't able to walk for a year or sit down or lie down without a lot of pain. Many of you have probably experienced that. At that time the doctors in Japan told me that I needed to operate which I didn't want to do. So I went back to Canada and I talked to a back surgeon specialist and he said to me that approximately 90 to 95 percent of hernia patients heal naturally and do not need an operation. Therefore, he highly recommended that I do not operate because he said once you operate on the discs in the spine, the pressure comes above and below where the operation was and you can end up getting other herniated discs. So I chose not to operate. And I'm really glad I didn't. He also told me, the doctor said, that once the pain goes away enough, I should start exercising and strengthening my core muscles in my front and my back, which I started doing with aerobics inside the house. And I ended up using weights and things like that, and that's how I started doing weight training. But I made some rolly videos previously that you've seen on my YouTube channel. And uh, those really helped me develop the core muscles for my back strength. The majority of the back pain went away, however, I was living with a stiff back for many years. But I was able to get used to it. Um, I think that many people can understand when their back goes out what it feels like. First of all, you start up straight and during the day you tend to go more and more and more like this. And then by the end of the day, you're in a lot of pain and for the next two weeks it's trying to work its way out. Eventually it gets better, as I found, as probably have you have found as well. However, I learned from reading a few books, The Back Doctor, as the main one, and you can get that on um, yeah, uh, Amazon as well as other places. And there are two or three books that the doctor's written. Very, very good. Highly recommended. Um, I learned to know when my back is going to start to feel funny and I developed some really good exercise or stretching actually resting stretching that has really helped a big part of it was my personality but I learned it's important as soon as you start to feel that little bit of a twinge or funny thing in your back to stretch your back right away and not worry about what other transient people in your life might think so I started doing it everywhere, in the house, at parks, at the airport, wherever I would start to feel it because my back was more important than what other people thought as they walked by and looked at me strangely. What is that guy doing? So I started doing it and I really learned that if you can take 5, 10, 15 minutes and stretch your back out the way I'm going to show you next, it makes a huge difference and it can save you a week or two weeks of struggling with back pain and the spasms that we get when our backs are sore. So let's get down to business or back to business and let me show you what I developed and uh, how to do it and I hope that some of you out there who give it a try can find that it really makes a big difference. I did and a lot of other people that I know connected to the internet through blogs and stuff who have tried this have found that it really, really helps them. All right, so let's go back up and give it a try, shall we?